My brothers and sisters, as you know, we're about to enter the Church's Year of Grace that's been promulgated by the Australian bishops to begin at Pentecost this year. Many people have spoken to me about this and said, what's this grace that we're talking about? Well, you may remember, if you're old enough, when we learnt our faith through the Green Catechism, they talked about grace as having two kinds. There was sanctifying grace and actual grace. Sanctifying grace was the grace of God that enabled us to live in union with God. And actual grace was grace that God gave us at certain times in our lives to do special things for God. Well, the whole theology of grace is much richer than that. What we've come to understand is that in fact grace is the power of the Holy Spirit that's lodged within us. And that comes to us at the moment of our baptism, when God's grace, through the power of the Holy Spirit, establishes a relationship between Jesus and ourselves at the centre of our lives as a person. So if we were able to retreat right to the very centre of ourselves as a person, we would come face to face with Jesus. So this year is an opportunity for all of us to do all that we can to strengthen that relationship that there is with the Lord. And, and we'll be doing that as a community in many different ways. But it's a challenge for each one of us uh, to a year of repentance, a year of trying to make the Lord more and more the centre of our lives, a year of being conscious of the fact that Jesus is so present to us. So it's a year for joy for us and a, a year for our lives to be reassured by the presence of Jesus uh, with us in our daily life. So all of us now have to face the challenge that's being laid open to us through this celebration to look at what we need to change in our lives to allow God's grace, the presence of Jesus in our lives, to become more and more the centre of the way that we think and act so that in our lives we can reflect Jesus to people around us everywhere by all the things that we do and say. So God's grace is nothing less than the power of the Holy Spirit who links us with Jesus in the most intimate and wonderful way. A moment of uh, grace for us which was at the very beginning of our life with our Lord was the moment of our baptism. What we seek and strive to do in our lives is to recreate that moment by our fidelity to the Lord by turning away from sin, by praying to the Lord with sincerity and by seeking out how we can serve the Lord in our brothers and sisters who surround us in the world. I ask you all to prepare well now for this year of grace and to really throw yourself into it so that together this can be a time of great renewal for our church. As we don't try to form the answers ourselves but lay ourselves open to the grace of God and let Jesus lead us to where we need to be to be truly his people in the world today.